All right, this is that BMX guy. The new frame, at least the standard frame, is coming here. They're gonna be this t shirt. The frame. We got a receipt, a couple of stickers. Big sticker. Total cost of this frame wasn't too much. This is the frame. 50 seconds of frame. There's a clear wall. So I'll just take the wrapping paper off. Okay, so here's the frame. It's clear over raw. They did exactly what I asked for. They made this a little bit longer, like a half inch higher. The stand over is still eight and three quarters or whatever they normally are. They addressed the sprocket clearance and they kind of made that a little skinnier. And the dropouts are solid. And three sixteenths. Anyway, the back end to about the back end to about center is fifteen. At least they say it's fifteen, which is good. I wanted it a little bit longer than the other thing. The other frame. The standover for them normally is about eight and a half, I would say. It might be eight and a quarter. But the length from here to here is what matters. And that's about ten and a quarter. It looks very nice. You have the standard stickers. They at least picked black. Surprisingly, they didn't put white on there. I mean, the dropouts are nice and thick. That's some thin, weird shit like they were doing. And the back end is, should handle a large sprocket. You can kind of tell the back end is definitely longer than that one. But the wheel is all the way forward if it was where it is now. That's about the same. So we'll see how that works. And wow, that's thin. Really thin. So weighing the frame, it's still three pounds 15 ounces just like the 21 and a half was so it's definitely lighter than the, the whatever it is the, the speed wagon okay so here's the new frame I added the stickers I put the nice profile seat clamp that it's a 28 6 that I can actually get other seat clamps for this the seat clamp is very thin like I mean seat tube it is longer. It's definitely longer than what's on here. Gotta say the back end is looking pretty long. That should have plenty of clearance for something a little bit bigger than 46. It's actually able to use the Thompson sticker. I actually have some of these profile racing stickers still. Paul sticker, velocity sticker. And a Schwalbe sticker. Obviously it isn't bling like chrome, but it's definitely beautiful. 
can't say it sucks. Don't look at my floor. That's just my toolbox. But anyway, I have to say it, the new frame looks pretty good, and I'll start assembling it. I guess the first thing I'm going to do, though, I'm just going to get a new bottom bracket. Fresh bottom bracket's always a good idea anyway. Maybe a fresh headset. That way, stuff can stay on this frame, and I can just set it up as a race frame. You know, an actual race bike. So, yeah. That's my new standard 125R custom frame. And this is that BMX guy signing off. Thanks for watching.